Hello students, today we shall learn to solve the equations based on powers, okay? To understand this topic, I have chosen three questions and this is the first question among those three questions, okay? So let's solve this question. So we have this equation 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 2 equal to 48. So we shall solve this question first and then we will move on to the next question, okay? So <clears throat> 2 to the power x, solve means we are asked to find the value of x, okay? So 2 to the power x plus 1 means 2 to the power x into 2 to the power 1, isn't it? 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 1. Bases are equal to and 2. So when the bases are equal and when we multiply, the powers adds up, isn't it? x plus 1, x plus 1. So plus 2 to the power x plus 2 means 2 to the power x times 2 to the power 2, isn't it? So this bases are equal to and 2. When we multiply 2 and 2, their powers adds up x plus 2, x plus 2 equal to 48 is in the right hand side, isn't it? So we have 2 to the power x, 2 to the power x. So let's take the common 2 to the power x, okay? 2 to the power x we take as common. Now within the bracket remains 2 to the power 1 because 2 to the power x into 2 to the power 1, isn't it? So 2 to the power x is taken out as common. So 2 to the power 1 remains here. 2 to the power 1 means 2, isn't it? Plus here also 2 to the power x is taken as common. Now 2 square remains here within the bracket. So 2 square means 4, isn't it? Equal to 48, okay? Or 2 to the power x 2 plus 4 is 6 equal to 48 or 2 to the power x equal to now let's take this 6 to the right hand side by cross multiplication this 6 goes to the denominator of 48 isn't it because we have into here so when we transpose to the right hand side this 6 goes to the denominator 6 6 1 is a 6 6 8 is a 48 okay or 2 to the power x equal to 8 we have 8 here isn't it 8 upon 1 means 8 so 8 means 2 cube isn't it 8 means 2 4 is a 8 2 2 is a 4 2 multiplied 3 times gives us 8 so 1 2 3 2 to the power 3 okay now what we can see is the bases are equal 2 and 2 therefore their powers will also be equal x equal to 3. We must keep in mind when bases are equal, when bases are equal, are equal, then their powers, powers will also be equal, will also be equal, okay? When bases are equal, then their powers will also be equal. So we can see 2 and 2, same basis, and there is equal to sign in between them. So x should be equal to 3. Therefore, we were asked to find the value of x, isn't it? So x equal to 3. So from this equation, 2 to the power x plus 1 plus 2 to the power x plus 2 equal to 48. We were asked to find the value of x, and we got the value of x equal to 3 okay now let's do the next question to understand better okay now let's do the next question to understand this topic better so we have an equation here and we are asked to solve this equation okay solve means we are asked to find the value of x 2 to the power 4x times 4 to the power 3x minus 1 we have this in the left hand side and in the right hand side we have 4 to the power 2x upon 2 to the power 3x isn't it so let's solve this equation so we write 2 to the power 4x as it is okay now, we have 4 to the power 3x minus 1, isn't it? So, 4 means, 4 means 2 squared, 2 to the 4. So, we can write 4 as 2 squared, isn't it? So, this 4, we write as 2 squared. 2 squared means 4, okay? 2 to the 4. So, 3x minus 1 was already there as power. So, we write 3x minus 1 as it is equal to 4 to the power 2x. This number also we convert to 2 squared, okay? 2 to the 4. 2 squared means this 4. So 2x was already there as power. So we write 2x. Okay. Now in the denominator we have 2 to the power 3x, isn't it? So we write 2 to the power 3x. 
to the power 3 x okay or 2 to the power 4 x times so 2 2 with this 2 we multiply 3x minus 1 okay because we have bracket bracket means multiply isn't it so 2 into 3x is 6x so this minus we write here 2 1 ja 2 equal to 2 to the power 2 to the 4x 2 to the power 2 into 2 is 4x okay 2 into 2x is 4x times now let's take this number to the numerator so please remember when we take any number from denominator to numerator the sign of the power changes okay similarly if we take any number from numerator to denominator sign of the power changes if it is plus it will become minus and if it is minus it will become plus okay please remember that whenever we take any number from denominator to numerator the sign of the power changes similarly if we take from any number from numerator to denominator sign of the power changes if it is plus it will become minus if it is minus it will become plus okay so we have 2 to the power 3x plus 3x the power of 2 is plus 3x isn't it so this power will become minus 3x because we are taking this number to the numerator from the denominator isn't it 2 to the power 3x will become 2 to the power minus 3x okay or 2 to the power 4x times so 2 to the power 6x minus 2 isn't it so 2 to the power 6x times 2 to the power minus 2 2 to the power 6x times minus 2 to the power minus 2 same base means power adds up 6x minus 2 isn't it equal to so 2 2 same base 2 and 2 so power adds up 4x minus 3x okay or here we have 2 to the power 4x okay 2 to the power 4x into 2 to the power 6x same base 2 and 2 power adds up 2 to the power 4x plus 6x okay 4x plus 6x whole upon when we take any number from numerator to denominator sign of the power changes isn't it this minus 2 will become plus 2 2 to the power minus 2 will become 2 to the power plus 2 this minus sign will become plus because we are taking this number from numerator to denominator so this will become 2 to the power 4x minus 3x is 2 to the power x 4x minus 3x is x okay now we have 2 to the power 4x plus 6x is 10x okay now let's cross multiply this and bring this 2x to the denominator and take this 2 square to the numerator on the other side okay so 2 to the power x will come down to the denominator here as it is 2 to the power x now this 2 square will go to the numerator 2 is squared or so this plus x when we take to the numerator when we take this 2 to the power x this plus x will become minus x isn't it sign of the power changes when we take any number from denominator to numerator or numerator to denominator okay so 2 to the power 10 x this 2 to the power 2 to the power plus x will become 2 to the power minus x so minus x okay this plus x will become minus x now bases are same 2 and 2 so the powers will add isn't it so 2 to the power 10 x plus minus x 2 to the power 10 x plus minus x this plus x will become minus minus x since bases are same 2 and 2 so power will add up so this is 2 to the power 10x plus into minus is minus x 2 to the power 10x minus x okay equal to 2 squared or 2 to the power 10x minus x is 2 to the power 9x 2 to the power 10x minus x is 2 to the power 9x equal to 2 squared isn't it 2 squared so we have 2 and 2 same base when bases are equal then their powers will also be equal isn't it so let me continue this here so this is 9x equal to 2 since 2 and 2 are same their powers will also be same 9x equal to 2 or x equal to this 2 we write here as it is this 9 will go to the denominator by cross multiplication so we were asked to solve means we are asked to find the value of x so we got the value of x is 2 to the power 9 what we need to keep in mind is 
whenever we take any number from numerator to denominator or from denominator to numerator the sign of the power changes and the next thing is when the bases are equal then their power should also be equal okay now let's do the next question to understand this topic better okay now let's do the last question so we have an equation here 2 to the power 5x plus 4 plus 2 to the power 9 equal to 2 to the power 10 okay so let's solve this equation so let's copy this 2 to the power 5x plus 4 as it is 2 to the power 5x plus 4 we copy as it is now let's take this plus 2 to the power 9 to the right hand side okay in the right hand side we already have 2 to the power 10 we copy this as it is 2 to the power 10 now when we take this plus 2 to the power 9 to the right hand side it will become minus 2 to the power 9 okay this plus 2 to the power 9 will become minus 2 to the power 9 or 2 to the power 5x plus 4 now 2 to the power 10 basically means 2 to the power 10 means 2 multiplied 10 times 2 into 2 into 2 1 2 3 4 and so on 5 6 7 8 9 10 2 multiplied 10 times means 2 to the power 10 2 to the power 9 means 2 multiplied 9 times 1 2 3 4 and so on 9 times okay when we multiply 2 2 2 2 10 times means 2 to the power 10 when we multiply 2 to 2 into 2 into 2 9 times we get 2 to the power 9 okay so in this number also we have 2 to the power 9 and in this number also we have 2 to the power 9 we can take 2 to the power 9 as common isn't it so let's just understand this and this way also 2 to the power 9 into 2 2 to the power 9 into 2 2 means power is always 1 when there is no power we must understand the power is 1 2 to the power 9 into 2 to the power 1 so we have same base 2 and 2 which means the base will remain same 2 the power will add up when the bases are same and multiplied their powers will add up isn't it 9 plus 1 so 2 to the power 9 plus 1 means 2 to the power 10 isn't it so here also we have 2 to the power 9 here also we have 2 to the power 9 so 2 to the power 9 is taken as common okay now 2 to the power 10 means 2 to the power 9 into 2 to the power 1 because 2 to the power 9 into 2 to the power 1 will give us 2 to the power 9 plus 1 which is 2 to the power 10 okay so 2 to, the, 2 to the power 9 into 2 to the power 1 is 2 to the power 10 this minus we write here so we have 2 to the power 9 here which is taken as common so 2 to the power 9 into 1 will give us 2 to the power 9 let's understand again 2 to the power 9 into 2 to the power 1 is 2 to the power 10 so this minus sign is here 2 to the power 9 1 ja 2 to the power 9 okay now 2 to the power 5x plus 4 equal to 2 to the power 9 2 to the power 9 now 2 to the power 1 means 2 2 to the power 2 to the power 1 any number raised to power 1 is the same number isn't it so 2 to the power 1 is 2 5 to the power 1 is 5 okay so 2 to the power 1 is 2 so 2 minus 1 is 1 2 minus 1 is 1 okay or 2 to the power 5x plus 4 equal to 2 to the power 9 into 1 is 2 to the power 9 isn't it 2 to the power 9 into 1 is 2 to the power 9 so now we have 2 and 2 bases are same 2 and 2 which means their powers should also be same okay or 5x plus 4 equal to 9 when bases are equal their powers will also be equal or 5x equal to this 9 we already have in the right hand side now let's take this 4 to the right hand side it will become minus 4 this plus 4 will become minus 4 or x equal to 9 minus 4 is 5 9 minus 4 is 5 the sign of greater number plus comes here now this 5 will go to the denominator in the right hand side by cross multiplication 9 minus 4 is this 5 okay this 5 will go down to the denominator by cross multiplication 5 1 are 5 5 1 are 5 so 1 upon 1 means 1 isn't it therefore x equal to 1 so we were asked to find the value of x and we got the value of x as 1 okay so this was the equation 2 to the power 5x plus 4 plus 2 to the power 9 equal to 2 to the power 10. So we were asked to find the value of x from this equation. The value of x is 
x equal to one. Okay, the value of x is one. Okay, this was for today. I hope you understood the concept of the topic. Stay tuned. I'll upload similar type of questions in the future. Thank you so much.